Hello, I'm back with another video, and this is actually, well, as you can see by the title, I'm unboxing. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Are you done? Are you, are you finished? Anyways, I'm gonna be unboxing um, the, new, the impossible camera. But the funny thing is that uh, it, this is from Teenage Engineering. It's one of those like production companies. I, I thought it was so cool because it, it looks like the lions and all that. And I've always wanted a, a Polaroid camera ever since like my last one broke. And that was like a few years ago. So I already took out this part, but I haven't seen the rest of the inside yet. I mean, I don't have a table, so I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> I'm just gonna open it like like here. I'm trying to look at the camera more. more. It's just like a little difficult because of my. Anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna open this. I'm so excited! It's the impossible one camera. It has these lights here. I believe they're like for different functions and all that stuff. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. And then and then it also has a type of film. So it says that it can work on any eye type film or 600 film as well. I mean, for for that, I got Okay, so for that, I just got the regular old uh, I got the Hopefully this works. It doesn't have to come from that Impossible um Impossible brand, there you go. Like I, I also got eye type film here. I know it works on 600 film. Double check to make sure. Yeah, 600. So it works with both eye type and 600 instant film. I don't know if you can see that here, but. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna open this. Ooh. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's this. Whoa. Oh, that's shit, that's so cool. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it gives you instruction. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. Get right to the chase. Ooh, hand strap. Oh, and you get a hand strap, right? You get a hand strap too. Oh, and that's where it comes in. But like, I'll show you. I'll show you what's in the inside. So this is what you get in the packaging. It folds like that. Okay, so like it shows that it has like a. I'm so sorry for my audio issues. Um, this shows. So this is the box and then like you have to unscrew the bottom of it to get the camera. This is the camera, that's the viewfinder. I didn't know it came with a hand strap, but it comes with a hand strap apparently and then the USB charging cable and then the box. Oh no, I ripped it a little bit. <laughs> I hate that, okay, whatever. This is the box. I won, little circle thing. You probably can't see it, but there's like a huge writing. If I go a little closer, there's huge writing. And it says here, the i one is the first analog instant camera truly made for the digital aid, the ring flash autofocus and remote control app. Oh, and there's an app with it. You can also pick pictures from your library and then have it print from there as well. That's cool. Okay, have been all engineered to help you create a unique instant original photos. The only limitation is your imagination. We hope that this, well, we'll see. We hope that this camera will become a source of pleasure and creative satisfaction in your life, inspiring you to never stop making. Impossible. That's cool. Okay. So there's a quote. So it's from the creator. Uh, the quote is, Don't undertake a project unless it is manifestly important and nearly impossible by Edwin Land, inventor of instant photography. Cool. Ooh, that's so cool. It's a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it would be bigger. I thought it would be okay, well, okay, no, actually, no, this is right. It should be like this. I'm guessing everything is in here. And the screw, okay. So here's the screw, you have to unscrew this. Screws off. And here is the camera. This is what the camera looks like. It looks so cool. Oh, it has like a little lightning and then like, it's so cute. Oh, how you, eh. That's so cool. I'll figure it out, I don't wanna break anything. So then you lift this, it says to lift here. And you get all, you get all this stuff. Oh, oh, I've never had a camera where it comes with a handkerchief. That's so nice and helpful. Data cable. I do not know about, that's, that's probably important stuff. I'm gonna figure it out how it works. All right, so basically, uh, you get the ding dang strap and put the ding dang little ball and then put it in the ding dang strap hole. Okay, 
but <laughs> you put both of them in there and then basically you get a little strap it's kind of like a cute little hand strap but i wish there was a long option for it but i mean well there you go for that but yeah here's the camera Ooh la la wow looks spectacular but anyhow i mean i used this film from the original polaroid brand and what do you know i mean here's me unwrapping it uh -huh. and there's the safety thing that it always comes with every single film but i put it in there and apparently it let's see the results oh yes and it works wowiza wowza but then come to with the camera i realized that i needed to charge it so you're going to see me then now charging it and then yeah i'm gonna come back to the next day and then show you what happens next hello oh shit hello i'm sorry if the lighting is whack and i have a fan on so audio issues but um it is now the next morning well afternoon and like the reason why that is is because like in the middle of yesterday like i was just cleaning stuff out that's why i didn't show you the full thing but now so i basically charged my polaroid with the usb charging cable so now i will take that out and i've been charging it for oh my god <laughs> so i've been charging it for a whole last day and again, here it is with the hand strap. I wish the hand strap was a little longer, but I'm sure it's like one of those like, like you could just carry it like this and it won't fall, you know, like that type of thing. I know that's looked very reckless, but it wasn't that bad. So I'm gonna turn it on for the first time. Okay, so this is all charged up and ready. And I believe to turn it on, and you know, I was so stupid because like I didn't look at this thing the user manual is like has full details of everything but this is just how to get it started instantly if you're just using it for the first time you should use this paper and it has all the instructions here and it also shows like what parts are in the camera like, you know like you can, you can lighten stuff and, like flash switch and all that it shows like everything basically that you need to get started so the big boy right i don't know how to open a book i'm gonna read this later and i mean i believe for a language it's about for whatever language you you speak like there's english dutch uh, italian fran uh, francais espanol portuguese portuguese japanese korean i think i don't know i don't know i'm bad i'm sorry sorry i don't know how to pronounce it um but it's about like 20-ish pages basically like on like um the full details but like if you're just getting it started use the look at this one like, i was just like oh I, I didn't i forgot about that but whatever so here's so here's the camera i'm gonna turn it on so basically when you turn it on you have to turn it uh, you have to turn it this way because so then this line here will align with this line so like this right so I'm gonna turn it on okay there you go so I turn it off and then that's when you know it's on and then you have to push see when it says the push thing over here you have to really you have to really push it up so like this like Oh my. Ignore that. I dropped it earlier. <laughs> but apparently you can take this off. It has magnets and stuff. That's cool. I believe that this is for flash though. I was able to put this on earlier. Okay, I finally got it figured out. <laughs> so you push like with your finger here. See? Here's the push button. And then you just push it up with your i feel like this should say pull instead because you're kind of pulling it instead of pushing it you know what i mean because you have to push it this way but i feel like that's pulling instead of pushing so i wish they changed that part you can see oh you can see myself in it ha 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 look at that look at me well, for the camera you're supposed to be five centimeters away so like this much like right here i believe do that and then you do your little test run so i'm gonna take a picture even though it's not really a picture, but I'm going to take a picture of this. And, and you see, like, I have to put, I have to push that backwards. It'll show this part. And now I can take a photo. You take a photo, you have to push this thing. So the first time you're putting your film in, you take this and then it'll take out this thing. 
and after that, you can take photos of anything. Typically with i-type films, 600, they always have eight, eight pictures a piece. And I forgot, I think it's like $16 for each one. So it's like a little expensive, but like if you want those physical memories, I think it's worth it. But you know, I don't mind splurging a little bit. Well, I'm gonna, I know what I wanna take. I know what I wanna take a picture of for my first photo and like, Two years! I'm so excited. So here I go through the stairs. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, so I really wanted to take uh, nature as my first photo. Specifically, like, the trees out in, like, the little mini backyard I have at home. Because, like, it's summer and the flowers just bloomed. So I thought this would be a perfect shot to take for my first Polaroid. So, yeah. So with taking the photo, I thought it was really fun, but I realized I didn't get the vantage point that I really wanted. Realistically, I need to step a little closer, a little more to the left, but nonetheless, it was still fun, and I just loved, you know, shooting it, shotting it, whatever. But yeah, you'll see me come through. Wow, look at that. You would think you would hear me speak, but <laughs> no. So you'll see me take out the actual photo out, and turns out, like, whenever you take it out, you see the little back part go back. And you have to put it immediately face down that way. Nothing bad happens to the photo and all that. Here's the wonderful photo. Ooh la la. I hope it'll turn out well. I'm kind of scared. I hope it turns out okay. Hopefully. I mean, this is my first time taking it, so it's probably not going to be the best. But hopefully, I'll get better at it. I have a lot of film, so hopefully it'll be all good. I mean, I'm going to learn more about... Um, like reading it and then also how to use flash and then how to zoom in. I think you can zoom in and stuff, I'm not sure, but yeah. So here is the photo in the light. I don't know if you can see it. It looks good in the light, but then in the dark, you can't really see much. Or I don't know, like it's a little, I mean, in real life, it definitely looks darker. I'm not a big fan of it if it's like that, but if it's like in the light and showing, I do like it a lot better. I'm actually surprised that like, I think it's because I had the flash on and I also, I didn't expect to get this part. I wanted to get the whole thing. I think I just need to be careful with how I'm shooting shots. I think I probably should should have gone farther and as i keep talking i keep saying i should have gone farther but realistically i should have gone a little more to the left i should have shot it more at the left and maybe a little bit closer so then i could get the whole side of it but yeah I mean, yeah like but it's still it's a cute photo like i i'm glad that this is my first photo in like a few years and it looks great so i mean i'm pretty proud of myself overall my experience with the camera was pretty fun and for an aesthetic girl like me it was definitely worth it. Now for the price points of the camera, it is $89 with everything included. However, there is tax, no shipping. And for the film, I believe it's $18.99 per pack. However, I typically get the five packs of it, which is $15 each, which I think is way more cost effective and a lot more better. And like I said before, you don't have to get it from the Impossible brand. You can also get the Polaroid brand and it also works on 600 film as well. If you're someone who doesn't mind spurging a little bit for physical memories, I think it's worth it. That's it for this video um i hope you guys enjoyed if you did you can like and subscribe whatever you want to do and all that i don't know it's just for fun but yeah like hopefully you guys have fun i did too bye